right there, you could have separated his shoulder. Then you push him in the chest. Then you go out to PJ. And then after that, you listen to the. And then you're shrugging off the referee. I felt so serious about this, fellas. I called the league office. And I said, I need an explanation. Tell me why Russell was. Why would you call the league office? You not you don't work for the NBA. Every indication in writing that they provided said we handled this. He got a couple of tests. So you trying to get niggas he was ejected. Suspended for a game? You don't work for the league, nigga. You work for ESPN. Call the league for in the regular season. Steve up with you, but that's some Rizzy, Steve. It's the playoffs. And because of how oh. important it is, you can't... You starting to look like a little Rizzy, man. Don't f***ing do that. So, but you called up the league office to play find play out play why play he ain't get suspended. Call Let them people do their f***ing job. None of y'all ain't say s***. I, I agree with everything that you said. I got the Dallas, I got the Mavs in six, and this is what, what? Dodgers does. Oh, Kendrick, you out of f***ing He called the league office up. None of you niggas don't work for the NBA. Y'all call the league up for you talking about agree. We got respect, mom. You know what I'm saying? But like they, they just do too much. You don't even work in it for the NBA. Then you gonna call them and ask why somebody's spending? So they got me thinking, like all the about me when we was in the problem that you volunteer say I should be suspended. But like it's crazy, but it has nothing to do with you. You know what I'm saying? Like people, people be thinking. You know what I'm saying? Like. People be hate job. We we allowed to disagree, and as players, we don't understand that type. Of, you are you are a report on sports. You talk about sports. What make you think you, you got the the power to call the league and see why I'm not why I'm not suspended? Don't y'all have to talk about the game? Crazy to me, dog. You know what I'm saying? People always say, but you can't never pull up no in my in my profile. No sock. Never did no sock. Man, man, ain't never did no sock. Everything, everything I said or done has been real and I can stand on. Because I was a kid to now. People can say a whole bunch of shit, they ain't got no facts and no way. You know what I'm saying? So like, yeah, we, that, that, that's just weak to me. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I ain't, I don't want to, I got respect for him, so I don't want to demean him. But that's just some, that's some Whitlock type shit. Go on and say you want to know why the man wasn't spent suspended. That's crazy. And, and and whoever agree with him is whack. I don't care. I, I ain't got no problems with nobody, but I ain't no yes man. And if I disagree with something, I'm going to disagree with it. I'm going to say it to you. But I, I don't care about it. I ain't got to disagree with you as long as I ain't disrespecting you. And that's happen. Whoever disagree with him, you want to do it. It got nothing to do with a nigga playing basketball. Wow. Oh. If Stephen A. Smith offers you a job right now, you'll go, no, I won't, dog. You obviously don't know I worked on ESPN for years with Rachel Nichols on my, our own show, The Job. I left. I didn't sign back with ESPN. I didn't. Why would I go back now and we have our own show? It's crazy. We just said the craziest stuff, bro, with no common sense, bro. My first team on common sense, by the way. First team. Gilly the Kid and Stephen Jackson rips Stephen A. Smith for literally calling the lead office to see about a suspension or violation of fines that they can give to Westbrook given the way that the series between the Clippers and the Mavericks are gone. I agree with Gilly the Kid and Stephen Jackson on this one. Being that you work for ESPN, you don't work for the league. There was a time when the NBA was physical, when they had Carl Malone, Charles Barkley, Shaquille O'Neal, and many others. Michael Jordan and all these other guys, they were physical players, Kobe Bryant. Now, fast forward to today's league, players can't even get touched without the referees blowing the whistle. The NBA have referees at every single game to make such calls that they see fit for the violation on the court, even up to ejections. The league have officials to make decisions and make calls that the referees may miss. Stephen A. Smith 
You are a sports analyst. At the end of the day, your job at ESPN is to literally call and talk about the game that you see that everybody else seeing. Now, you took it upon yourself to call a lead to see what type of fine or violation or penalty that Brown Westbrook will have come in his direction because what you feel was a violation. Not what the referees felt, not what the lead officials felt, but what you felt. And you went publicly with the balls to say that you literally called the lead. Salute to you for that. However, former NBA players, literally, who've been fined or who had to pay penalties or even suspensions, think probably now that you called the league to push forward a punishment onto them. You see, at the end of the day, that's not your job. Your job is literally to see what you see and report what you see and be fair about it across the board. Your job is not to call a lead and be all in the lead dealings and business tactics. That's where you was wrong at. Salute.